up guys? Uh, Shelby Jones coming at y'all from Jones and for CrossFit. We are gonna continue our progressions on the squats and today we're gonna be going over the back squat. Some things to look for when we're going through the movement. We're gonna be looking at where you're actually initiating the movement from, watching the tracking of the knees and then keeping that midline stabilized also. And we have Coach Kelly demonstrating the movement for us today. So even before we get started on the movement, we wanna pay attention to how we're spacing our hands on the bar and where we're placing ourselves on it too. If the bar is lopsided, that's gonna cause you to shift your weight to one side or the other. You wanna stay balanced in the squat at all times. And pause right here real quick. Even before she takes the bar out of the rack, she's gonna brace, right? And how you approach the bar, how you take the barbell out of the rack will really play a role in how you go through the squat too, especially when you get up to higher loads. All right, go ahead and take it out. Awesome. Stay embraced getting in her squat position. She's gonna get locked down and tight again. You watch the hips and the knees. She's gonna go ahead and initiate the squat. Both hips and knees at the same time. Decrease pass and decrease and then coming right back up. You look at the tracking of the knees. They are staying outside of that big toe. Weights on the whole foot. Coming right back up, okay? Awesome, she's getting down on the bottom. She's not losing her midline. Her back is not rounding. She's staying in a nice neutral spine position. Let's talk about breathing a little bit too. How do you normally breathe whenever you're doing these? Breath at the top. Breath at the top, yeah. So taking a big breath in, filling that belly, and kind of squeezing your abs around that air, right? Bracing, creating pressure in the abdomen. And then going down through that squat again. Go ahead. On the way up, exhaling, helping you brace through the top of that squat. Some minor faults that we see pretty often with the back squat. The First one I'd say that we, we probably see the most, we went over it on just the air squat, right? So the initiation, you're good locked in and then you overextend in the back. We talked about how to get rid of that, really squeezing the glutes, tucking the tailbone, keeping the rib cage tacked down. The other one was the knees in. Um, to fix that, really what you want to think about is squeezing your glutes, pushing the ground out and to the side. Kind of like you're stepping on pizza dough and you're trying to spread it with your feet. Um, the next one, the breath. Holding that breath in will help keep your chest up instead of kind of rounding. Keep that upper back tight. That'll help with the rounding in the upper back um, too. Is bar position whenever you're doing the back squat. And your, your body type and how your structures are built. Um, the bar position and how your body is will actually dictate what is gonna be more beneficial for you and how you should be squatting. Um, some people will, longer femurs, need to track their hips back a little bit more. Uh, people with shorter limbs and a longer torso um, have the ability to squat more straight up and down. And bar position is going to play a role in that, making it easier or harder for you. So if you, you're not sure where it should be, I would Google it. We'll probably go over that in a later video explaining exactly what we mean. 